What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. Today, I'm doing race picks for the 2022 Coke Zero Sugar 400. Let's go jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series, headed the Daytona National Speedway, the 2.5 mile super speedway racetrack for the final race of the regular season. There's only one spot still available currently to play that currently is held by Ryan Blaney. But Mark Trickson here currently says I believe 25 points behind Ryan Blaney. Mark Trickson here is in pretty much in a must-win situation. Everyone else will be trying to fight their way to, to basically dethrone Ryan Blaney of that final spot. We're going to see what happens this weekend, but there's a very good chance that that could happen at Daytona, as it's going to be a very chaotic race, as the regular season has already been chaotic with one race to go. I expect a lot of chaos and a lot of attrition and a lot of aggression for people still getting desperate to try to get that first win and lock their way into the playoffs. So now, let's get into picks. Before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is going to be 87 degrees as a high, 75 degrees as a low. But get this, there is a very good possibility this race could be moved to Sunday as there is a 60% chance of rain and thunderstorms. Now, currently it's scattered thunderstorms, and when I looked at the weather, it was basically isolated thunderstorms. So the chance of weather may not affect the outcome of the race, but weather could play an impact. This race may get shorter. We may not get all 160 laps in. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens. But now, let's jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel that have subscribed as of recently, here's how picks work on the channel. I've got two suck picks, two drivers I think are going to struggle that have continued their struggles, or drivers that I think are going to struggle. Two underdog picks, two drivers I expect to continue their really, really strong runs or have a really good run this weekend. And then I do the winner's pick as well, the driver I think is going to win. And I do the ones you need to watch out for for this weekend at Daytona. And I've got five drivers, I'm on the winner, that are, I think could have a chance to be throwing the winner this weekend that are not the winner. So now, let's get into picks. Who are my suck picks for this weekend at Daytona National Speedway? My first suck pick is a guy that's generally struggled over the last two to three months. He has only scored one top 10 in the last 10 races of this season. And I think a lot of it's due to the distractions of the contract talks. But also this guy, I know he's won here at Daytona back in 2008 and all a couple times as well. But this guy generally historically in super speedways has really, really struggled. And I unfortunately think this guy is going to continue his really bad downturn. I think Kyle Busch is going to have a really bad run this weekend. Along with the distractions of the contract talks and trying to figure out where he's going to be going next year, I think that's playing a major role in his distractions. I think Kyle Busch is going to crash out of this race. Yes, he's been good at times at Daytona, but I unfortunately think this weekend Kyle Busch is going to struggle and potentially crash out at Daytona. My other suck pick is a guy that actually was running really well in the Daytona 500 for unfortunately wrecking with around 10 laps to go and really was good at Atlanta and had pace and speed there in both races and had a chance to win at Talladega. Unfortunately, though, I think this guy is going to go back to basically the old ways of how this guy races in super speedways because generally this guy has not been fantastic at super speedways. I think Kyle Larson is going to struggle this weekend. Now, it's going to sound crazy considering Kyle Larson did win the past weekend, but I just don't think Kyle Larson is going to have the speed and the consistency to go out there and win. I think he's going to struggle this weekend. I don't think he crashes out. I just think for his standards, he's going to struggle because he's not been hugely that great at Daytona. I think he struggles this weekend at Daytona. And now we're going to jump on to the underdog picks. Who are my underdog picks for this weekend at Daytona International Speedway? My first underdog pick is a driver who's been really having a great year so far. Really, despite having a 100-point penalty, this guy has 9 or 10 top 10s so far in the 2022 season. Has been really consistent so far this year. It's a shame he got that 100-point penalty because he'd be having a chance, I think, at making the playoffs this season. But I do think that this guy will have a very good run. I think he'll have a chance to win and potentially make his way into the playoffs. Talk about Michael McDowell. Like I said, Michael McDowell's a driver's had a really good year this year for his standards, a career year outside of the 100 point penalty. This has been a career year for this guy. Had a great run of Watkins Glen, and I think this guy will continue to have a really strong run. I think Michael McDowell has a great run. My other underdog pick is a driver who's a specialist on super speed tracks. He won this track back in 2011, and he seems to always find a way up front in these super speedway races. Now, he is in a Rick Ware car, so that can play a factor if he has a good run or not. But I think this guy will have a really strong run this weekend. I'm talking about David Reagan. I think David Reagan is going to surprise a lot of people this weekend. I think David Reagan is going to make that 15 car a really solid and really strong organization. I would not be shocked that David Reagan potentially get a top five or top ten this weekend, but I think he's got a shot at having a really good run this weekend at Daytona. And now we're going to jump on to the winner's pick. Who is my winner's pick for this weekend at Daytona International Spirit? 
My winner's pick is someone who's basically going to upset the playoff grid. That's right. I'm not picking one of the two drivers, either Ryan Blaney or Martin Trex Jr. to win. The guy I'm picking to win has been a driver who really, outside of this past weekend at Watkins Glen, has been consistently in the top 15 almost every single race. And this guy has been really great at Super Speedway tracks. In fact, his first career win came at a Super Speedway. Albeit it was a range short Super Speedway race, but this guy ended up basically winning that race. I am going to have Bubba Wallace shocking the field and becoming the 16th driver locked away into the playoffs. I'm picking Bubba Wallace to win this weekend here at Daytona. Like I said, Bubba Wallace has been really great at Super Speedway tracks. Was really, really fast at, at the first Atlanta race, nearly won there. Was really, really fast at Daytona 500. Was this close to basically locking his way into the playoffs early in the season. And I think Bubba Wallace is going to shock the world. And I think he is going to be the final guy to get in the playoffs. We'll probably go on a decent run in the playoffs. But I think Bubba Wallace is going to win this weekend at Daytona. He's my pick to win. He becomes the 16th driver. They're locked their way into the playoffs. And now we're going to jump on to the ones you need to watch out for for this weekend at Daytona. Who are the ones you need to watch out for? The first driver to keep your eyes out on is a guy who's historically really, really good at super speedway tracks. He's won at Talladega twice, and he won at Daytona last year. But I don't think this guy is going to get it done. But this guy will absolutely be a threat to win. Team Penske's been generally really, really quick at super speedways throughout their career. And I think it's going to benefit Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney, I think, is going to be absolutely a threat to win this weekend. I think he's got an absolute shot to get it done. He's going to have a lot of urgency and a sense of urgency to go out there and win. I think Ryan Blaney is going to be a threat to win this weekend at Daytona. The second driver you need to watch out for is a guy that also is in a must-win situation right now to get into the playoffs. But going back to Daytona 500, yes, this guy was super, super aggressive and was brought a lot of aggression in the field. However, this guy also had led the most laps and probably had the fastest car in Daytona and was really, really strong. And I think that this is going to benefit Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski, like I said, is in a must-win situation, but I think that this week he is going to be a threat to win. The 16 knows how to get it done on Super Speedways. Roush generally has been really good at Super Speedways this year. They were pretty good at others, and I think that Brad Keselowski will be a threat to win at Daytona this weekend. I think he's got a shot. The third driving to keep your eyes on is a driver that is looking also needs to get into the playoffs with a win. This guy was very, very close to winning earlier this year at Talladega Super Speedway. Unfortunately, though, he made a mistake by putting a really, really late block on Kyle Larson to basically go out there and lose it. And Chastain snuck by and took the victory. I think Eric Jones got a shot to get it done. I think Jones is going to try to learn from those mistakes to try to get it done. And I think Eric Jones will absolutely be a threat to win this weekend at Daytona. The fourth driver to keep your eyes on is a guy who has won here at Daytona once back in 2015. And this person, I think, will be a threat to win. He's had a pretty good consistent stretch. He's been having a quiet, really good stretch. And I think he will have a really good run. I think Joey Logano is going to be a threat to win this race as well. You never can count out the 22 team. They're always up front. They led a lot of laps in the summer race last year. I think he'll be definitely a threat to win this weekend. The fifth driver you need to keep your eyes on is the regular season points leader, the guy who actually won the regular season championship already and won the last Super Speedway race at Atlanta Super Speedway, Atlanta Motor Speedway, Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott, I expect to be really, really quick and show a lot of pace and a lot of speed in that nine car. I think Hendrick's going to all around be fast, but I think Elliott's going to be the lucky one of the Hendrick cars to have a good run. I think Elliott will have a really strong run. Chase Elliott will be a threat to win. And the final driver I'm adding on that I think you need to keep your eyes out on is a guy who has won multiple times at Daytona, including three Daytona 500s, and also generally has been a little bit faster over the last month or two. And I really think that this is going to benefit Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin, I think, will absolutely be a threat to win. You never can count out Denny Hamlin in these type of races. He generally always finds a way up front. I think Denny Hamlin is going to be a threat to win, and I think he will absolutely will have a really strong chance and a really good shot to get it done. Keep your eyes out on Denny Hamlin because I think he'll be a threat to win this weekend at Daytona. So anyway, those are the race picks for this weekend at Daytona International Speedway. Just a reminder, first my suck picks are Kyle Busch and Kyle Larson. My rock picks are Michael McDowell, David Reagan. My winner's pick is Bubba Walls. And my ones to watch are Ryan Blaney, Brad Keselowski, Eric Jones, Joey Logano, Chase Elliott, and Denny Hamlin. Those are the drivers you need to watch out for as well. So anyway, that is going to be it for the race picks video for this weekend at Daytona. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, turn on to be notified when a video does go live on my channel. 
Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Let's get some blow over that and comment your thoughts and your picks below for this weekend. Tell me you think he's going to struggle. Tell me you think he's going to run really well. That usually doesn't run well. And tell me you think he's going to win. And tell me your ones you need to watch out for this weekend as well. Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, we should have a NASCAR news video wrapping up some NASCAR news for the end of the week. And then on Friday, I'm going to have a little bit of a special project that is going to be coming out around Project 91 and potential drivers that could get behind the wheel of the Project 91 car that should be dropping at the end of the week. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content, other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.